Welcome to the Data360 Analyze Aggregate Node video. In this video, I will show you how to aggregate your data based on user-specified field or fields and from the group data, output calculations. So what are some examples of where you might use an aggregate node? If you wanted to find out the total revenue amount for a product per country, or if you wanted to find out the total count of users who have purchased a product per region, when the data is sorted by the date field in ascending order, you want to identify the oldest transaction, which is the first record in the group, or the newest transaction, which is the last transaction in the group. The data we have shows us video game sales across different regions in the world. The fields we have are the name of the video game, the platform that the game is played on, the year the game was released, the genre, publisher of the game, North American sales, Europe sales, Japan sales, other sales, and the total of all sales. We also have the scores from users and critics, the developing company, and rating. I am going to sort the name field and looking at the Assassin's Creed 4 black flag records. Although these records have the same name, the platform of each record is different. I want to find out how many different platforms each game was sold on and also what is the total global sale amount for each game. To do this, I am going to use an aggregate node to group my data by the name field and produce a count of records per group and a sum of the records based on the global sales field. To do this, I will bring an aggregate node to the canvas and connect it to the video game's data. Under the group by property, I need to select the field or fields that I want to group by. In this case, I want to group my data by the name field, so I will select name. Under operations, I will select the operations that I would like to calculate from this group data. The operations available are count, which outputs a count of the records per group, sum, which outputs the sum of the records per group based on a user-specified field, average, which outputs an average of the records per group based on user-specified field, min or max, which outputs the smallest or largest number in the group, first or last, which outputs the first or last record in the group, sample or population standard deviation, which outputs a standard deviation of all of the values for the specified field within the group, and sample or population variance, which outputs an average of the square differences from the mean. Since I want to find out how many different platforms each game was sold on, I will select count. This will provide a count of the records per grouping. For the field, it does not matter which field you select when you are calculating a count. I will select name. You will notice that the output field, name field, is automatically populated. You can leave it as it is or change it. I will rename mine to number of platforms. The next thing I want to calculate is the sum of the global sales of a game across all platforms. I will select sum under operations. For the field, I will select the field that I want to use for the calculation. In this case, it is global sales. Once again, the output field name is automatically populated. I will change it to total global sales. I will rename the node to total platforms and total global sales and then run the node. When I view the results from the output pin of the aggregate node, I can see the name of the games, the number of platforms that each game has been sold on and the total global sale amount across all platforms. Now I want to identify the game with sales across the most platforms and the game with the highest amount in global sales. As the data viewer only shows the first 1,000 records, if I sort the data here, it will only give me a view on the first 1,000 records. I will join two sort nodes to the aggregate node to sort on the whole data set. For the first sort node, I will select the number of platforms field and select sort descending from the hamburger menu as I want to see the game sold on the highest amount of platforms. I will rename this node to total number of platforms. For the second sort node, I will select total global sales and once again from the hamburger menu, I will select sort descending so I am presented with the game with the highest global sales. 
I will rename this node to Sum of Global Sales. Now I will run both nodes. When I open the top sort node, I can see that the Need for Speed Most Wanted was a game that was sold across the highest amount of platforms. When I open the second sort node, I can see that Wii Sports only sold on one platform, but it brought in the highest amount of global sales at $82.53 million. For more information and help on the aggregate node, click on the aggregate hyperlink in the properties panel to take you directly to the aggregate node help page.